what would you tell your 20 year old self about investing um and three words never ever sell terry that's four words um <laughs> If I knew then what I know now, I'd still own some of the things I bought back in the 80s. Um, I've mentioned the first property I bought for 25000 but the, the second one is is more pertinent to the discussion. It was in Brisbane. It was actually an inner city suburb. It was a, a very humble house, but sitting on a hill with views up the Brisbane River, it cost me $50,000. And I sold it a couple of years later for 110000 I thought I was a genius. But the land alone today would be worth well over a million dollars. Yeah, of- right. Yeah. And if I'd understood, you know, the the importance of buying good real estate and keeping it, accumulate, build a portfolio, I would still own it, um, and I'd be much wealthier today than I actually am. So oh, when you sold, was, were you trading up? Were you putting the, those problems? You know, I was selling. I was selling to buy better, and um, you know, the the the, the whole um, mentality and culture around property investment didn't really exist then to the way it does now. And I think um, more people today would understand that um, you know you, you start you know start young, buy something you can afford. If you buy wisely, it'll grow in value and give you equity, and then buy more and more. But you keep that real estate that you buy and build a portfolio rather than trading, because when you buy and sell, you're losing a lot of your profits in you yeah. know in those costs, um, capital gains tax, um, you know legal fees, stamp duty, and all of that. Yep. But, yep. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to have understood. Um, when I was in my twenties, that uh, never ever sell was the way to go. Well, hopefully, someone twenty year old listening to this and taking that advice. 